Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. I have a medical question here that came in to the Ask Cindy portal on our website, Learberg.com. And we answer all the questions that we get that we can. If we can't answer a question on training, on breeding, on medical issues, we'll tell you in writing if you send it in. But this one happens to be concerning uh, a person, and I don't even know if they're a customer because I don't know the names when I get these. Uh, and people don't have to be customers to send us a question. That's important to, for me to say that. Um, but this concerns a customer, a customer I just said is not a customer. This concerns someone that's getting a puppy in a few weeks and it has a hernia. I'll read it. It says, hi Cindy, I'm about to get a male puppy in two weeks and the breeder told me that the pup has a small umbilical hernia, which is not congenital. Would you still consider getting this puppy or not? You know, that's a good question for people. Uh, it says something about the breeder, that the breeder is giving the customer, and it is a customer, advance notice that the puppy has a hernia. It's not... I've bred German Shepherds for 35 years, and a lot of German Shepherds. I have a lot, that's not to say that this is a German Shepherd, but still, I've had a lot of puppies over the years that get hernias, that are born with umbilical hernias, and the, depending on the size of the hernia, most of them close up on their own. So it would come down to the question of knowing what size this hernia is. And then if the person still has questions, what we would recommend is to have a vet do a, uh, a little physical on the dog before they go and pick it up. I know that when we used to breed dogs, before we shipped a litter of puppies, and most of our puppies were shipped somewhere around the United States, uh, we would have a vet come and do a health certificate on each puppy. And it would make notes, the vets would make notes, had a small hernia, had this, had that. And it was just a good practice to have the vet check it, because if there was something we would miss, maybe the vet would not miss. And then it comes down to this person deciding, okay, you're either going to take it or you're not going to take it. We can't tell you what you should do in this case. You have to make up your own mind. With the caveat here that the majority of small hernias are fixed on their own, they just go away. Now, if someone would have a little larger hernia that doesn't close itself, then the other options that are open to you is if you do preliminary x-rays for hips, or x-rays at two years of age for hips. I always would do a preliminary x-ray around six months of age on my German Shepherds that I kept because the number that sticks in my mind that I used to refer to was that about 85% of the puppies that had good hips at the five, six month age had good hips again when they reached 24 months, when they could get OFA certified. Now, the caveat that goes with that is the people have to keep the puppies thin, as they should. A fat puppy is going to have more stress on the hips and the skeletal part of their body than a thin puppy. They're not, puppies aren't made, they have soft bones, soft tissue. They're not made to carry a lot of extra weight. And do not overexercise a puppy. Uh, they're, over the years, I remember certain people that would tell me after the fact, after their puppy showed up with a hip problem, that, oh yeah, I'm a runner and I would take my puppy running with me from the time it was six or seven months old. That's crazy. You don't take little kids out and put them in long distance running when they're five or six years old. You certainly shouldn't do it with a puppy. So those are the caveats. but. Where I was getting to is, if you're going to have your puppy put to sleep to have its hips x-rayed, or if you have a dog that you're going to neuter 
and put to sleep. They can fix, the vet can fix the hernia at the same time they're x-raying the hips or at the same time that they're neutering the dog. Saves you some money and anytime you can save money, nothing wrong with doing that, is there? So I think that answers the question.